es a ese que lo quema. I received the, the Nobel Peace Prize uh, winner in, on climate change, which I shared with the former Vice President of United States, Ali Gore. And this came about uh, uh, when Ali Gore used to swim in the Caribbean with his family. He noticed that the corals were dying. Every year, the, the corals were dying as he was swimming in the, in the ocean. And uh, by then, I was the vice president of Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission of UNESCO. And he brought that issue about the death of the corals in the Caribbean. He brought it to UNESCO in Paris. And uh, under IOC of UNESCO, we had 156 countries. That issue was brought to us in the panel and we took it up, we wanted to find out what was happening with the ocean. And then we formed different uh, groups and that came about IPCC, Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Me particularly, I was in charge of fish, on fisheries. There were other people who were in charge of forestry and many other aspects. At the end of it, a video was produced after five years working and uh, that is how it reached and we were recognized uh, internationally as uh, something to be awarded and uh, because it was started by a former vice president of the united states he got it and we shared it with, with him i come from kisi kisi county in kenya and uh, in my family we were 10 of us my parents were very, very poor. We could not afford food. And I can assure you, I never wore shoes up to when I went to high school. And it was pathetic. Even the place where I used to sleep, we used to sleep on uh, cow skins. And later on, I graduated sleeping on a mat. And sleeping on a mattress is when I went to high school. So my background has been really uh, challenging in that I came from poor family. I never bought books, but all I did was to work hard. I worked hard, I went to Kisi High School. From there I went to University of Nairobi, and I was employed by East African community. Later on I joined the Kenya government, and uh, uh, as a young scientist, I joined the Kenya Marine and Fisheries Research Institute. And something happened. I used to work in Lake Victoria, Kisumu, and uh, that means I was a freshwater fisheries research scientist. But my boss wanted to punish me. He brought me to Mombasa and work in Indian Ocean. Being my first time to come to Mombasa, to see Indian Ocean was really something which I could not believe. But then I said, it is a challenge, I have to take it up. And I told my boss, if that is your wish, you want me to work in Indian Ocean, uh, I took it up. And by doing so, when I accepted, I was lucky I got a scholarship to do my master's at Free University of Brussels in Belgium. Later on, I did a MPhil degree at Free University of Brussels. And finally, I did my PhD uh, and focused in Indian Ocean. I'm a specialist now in biological oceanography, and it's because of that decision I made. If I had told my, my boss that I'm not going to Mombasa, I'm not going to work in the Indian Ocean, I could have remained uh, either jobless or something like that. That is one risk which, I, which, which, I, which I, I took. And by doing so, after some years I was promoted, and finally I became a director of Kenya Marine Fisheries for 10 years. And with, within that situation, uh, I also became the president of an African Fisheries Society of Africa. And later on, I became the vice president of Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission for 10 years. And I, we used to work in Paris during the, the meetings for those uh, important meetings. And uh, how I came to develop a school, there was a need. I felt this area, a uh, cliff area, not many schools are there, uh, only public schools. I had to buy land with my wife, Rose. We bought land 
and we started building a school to uh, take care of the need of the area because the children were not going to school there was a lot of prostitution especially in Mutuapa and uh, so we decided to bring in a school we started with a, a junior school that means baby class kindergarten and the primary school and finally we have a high school. Let me say it has been a very interesting. Here in school we also sponsor orphans, those disadvantaged children. And then we realized in this area there is a high preference of HIV AIDS. So I took upon uh, ourselves, we went to the villages, talking to the people on how to avoid uh, HIV AIDS. And it has been wonderful for us. Then we also realized this area there is a problem with the drug abuse and it's something which we have worked for nearly 10 years uh, within the area to see that the young people who go in for drugs uh, can stop it. The other area which is uh, also very important is that from the school we have been uh, in operation for 15 years. Yeah? There are many young boys and girls who have gone through here. I can assure you we have over 100 students who have gone through university through our school. And that is something which makes me work hard to assist the young boys and girls. The other thing is, uh, since I'm a fisherman, I'm a fisheries research scientist, in my home I have over 20,000 fishes. Those are tilapias and uh, catfish. This one I do myself. Yeah, I breed them, I grow them, we, we assist the community, we, 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 we prepare them more particularly. It is a menu for our students in, in, in the school. The other aspect, we give these fishes to the community to avoid malnutrition, more particularly for the young boys who are, who, and girls who are growing. I'm happy that through this exercise, I can go out and relax. It's so relaxing that you can fish and uh, cook and eat. And uh, especially now, our young boys and girls who are our students, we have trained them on how to grow uh, vegetables in our compound. We have uh, poultry, we have dairy cattle. And this, we have trained these young boys and girls on how to do farming. And through this, some of them will become great farmers in the future. The other aspect before I, 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 I turn up is uh, when I was in the university, I saw a lot of immorality, more particularly for the young boys and girls. And I promised myself not to be uh, able to move from one girl to another. I promised myself not to have a girlfriend. My girlfriend were books. So that was my major interest to read and read because I came from my, my background was poor, I was a poor uh, student uh, from poverty. Uh, I said for me to uplift my mother who never wore shoes, at least to put shoes in, on, in, on, on her feet. The other aspect was uh, uh, to see what happened, the background I came from, background of poverty. That's why I decided at the university I had to be the best and indeed I became the best student in the university and my first wife was my degree and later on is when I, I met my, when I finished my, uh, my, my studies I got my degree and I got, I got a beautiful lady Rose Nyanchoka who became my wife, I had a wonderful wedding and uh, let, me be, let me be honest with you that we have now four children and we have adopted uh, three others. These are the ones who have adopted. Uh, all of them have gone through university. One of them is working with the IM uh, bank uh, in Coast, in Puapa. The other one is a teacher and uh, I'm happy that it went that way. My children are well learned. One of them is uh, a surgeon, uh, Dr. Uh, Elizabeth Okemwa. She is a surgeon at Tenwek uh, hospital in Pomet. Uh, the other three boys uh, are a computer specialist. I'm happy with that because now they are doing their own businesses.